Hey, it's Allison with Nurturing Readers. I want to share with you some of our newest storybooks. So starting with the little ones, we have Crinkle Pets. This is a brand new cloth book that has crinkles on each page, but it's also a fold-out book, so perfect for tummy time. It's got graphics on each side, and we also have Crinkle Jungle in the series as well. All right, next we have That's Not My Sloth. This is our newest in our That's Not My series. I love this series because it's got the bold black outline to capture the little one's eyes. It's got the touchy feelies on each page as well as a mouse for your little one to find, which will help this book grow with them as they do. All right, next we have a new board book series. This is You Complete Me. And also in the series, we have The Apple of My Pie. Super cute partnerships in this one. For example, Donut Worry, You Make Me Feel Whole. Or We Are Better Together, Like Milk and Cookies. Super cute. I can guarantee that the other book in this series is equally as cute as well. All right, if you're a fan of Don't Tickle the Hippo, you will love that we now have Don't Tickle the Lion. On the back is the on-off switch, just like the other um, one in the series. And when you tickle the animals, they make sound. And there's lots of animals in here and then also it doesn't disappoint because at the end there's a fun new song um, that will surely have your little one dancing along as well all right next we have if you're a fan of Alfie and Bet's ABC pop-up book, we now have Dottie and Dash's one, two, three pop-up book. This one's really fun because Dottie and Dash are trying to agree on which number is the best. They're going through all the numbers, so your little ones will learn with them as they go. And there's a number line at the bottom, but this book's great because it actually goes all the way up to number 100, um, not just number 10 like I thought it would. And so you can see the full number line at the bottom there as well. Super fun learning and storybook. All right, next we have the Usborne Big Book of Nursery Rhymes. This is my favorite new one for bedtime. It, I love our Big Book series because of the thick pages in here, as well as the graphics. This has all the classics like Do You Know the Muffin Man, Jack and Jill, Humpty Dumpty, Hickory Dickory Dock. So many great ones that you can sing along to at bedtime. Um, but if you don't want to sing, some handy thing on the back here is a QR reader that you can use your device to listen to all the nursery rhymes at bedtime too. So I love that there's that option with this new one as well. All right, next we have Best Behavior. This one is a cute rhyming storybook um, about all the animals. They're trying to have their best behavior as they go throughout the day. Um, and they're trying to be kind, considerate, compassionate, and caring. Um, so, for example, it says, Even the hungriest hippo has a difficult lesson to learn. It's no use being impatient. Stand in line and wait your turn. I love that this one promotes good behavior and is fun and engaging with the animals as well. All right. If you're a fan of This is Owl, you are going to love this new one, This is Frog. But look also, it's hot pink. So this one surely will not get lost on your bookshelf. Um, but this one has all the fun directions that help your little one interact with the story. For example, it says, Frog lives in the rainforest. Shall we help Frog jump by shaking the book up and down? And then we see, oh, Frog went up a little high. Quick, let's follow him. Use your fingers to run up the page after Frog. And so, so many fun new directions. This one would be a great one if you have an opportunity to read a story to your kid's class at school. That would be a great one to bring. All right, if you're a fan of Dragon Post, we now have Beast Feast. And this is all about Beast. He finds his dinner and he decides to invite all his friends to um, the, a feast. And he his friends start getting back to him to say that they can make it or not, as well as give suggestions on what he should have at his feast. Well, in the meantime, him and Dinner are planning the feast, and he actually befriends Dinner and decides he needs to change his plan and instead invite Dinner to the feast and have something else to eat instead. Super cute. If you have a monster fan, they will love this one. I love all the postcards and notes in that one as well. Okay, last but not least, we have The Biggest Story. This is a fun new storybook that promotes storytelling as well as imagination. This one is all about 
Errol and his mom tells the best stories, but she's busy right now because she um, is fixing a plumbing issue at their house. And he has to go outside and start to come up with his own story instead. He's never done that before, but the animals come around him and, tr and help um, him start to think of a story. And then when his mom is ready to hear, he has created this story that has just grown and grown, full of adventure. And his mom thinks it's the best story she has ever heard. Super cute. My kids have loved reading this one. <laughs> Filled with action. I love that it promotes storytelling as well.